And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Just like that. Hey, everybody, it is the bonfire. We are live on a Monday. Yeah. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Big J Okerson, that sexy yaw you heard. Is yaw. Coming. Yaw. Yeah. It's coming from the super ultra sexy, super oh. sexy. I'm trying to think of more adjectives. Super sultry. Sultry, salacious. Lustable. Salivating. I, uh, uh Dan Soder. Hi. Um, the number 844-COMEDY-9. We are looking through the portholes. Monday, which is usually golf day. Yeah. Over the, through the porthole here, but it really is. Something black's happening over there. Well, it's it's uh, all good-looking black people in white clothing, so yeah. it looks like they're angels monitoring us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I goes, oh, is this, are we at the crossroads? Did we find them finally? I go, well, is Uncle Charles here? He goes, I'm Uncle Charles, y'all. <laughs> I'm Uncle Charles, It's y'all. me, I'm Uncle Charles, y'all. You're listening to... Bone Thugs and Harmony Radio. Oh, look at this. And the woman who is, he's half black, but she's embraced much more of her black side. Look at this one here. <laughs> she's just discarded her white Fucking Rachel Dole is all over there. Look at her with her fucking long curly hair. She's like, now let me tell y'all motherfuckers some. I'll be the one to catch the cab, but we all going home black tonight. Dude, that's so funny. Because from one angle she looks white, she's like two face. On one side she looks like a white lady, and the other side she looks like a black lady. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, she she's like a house guest at the Huxtables house. And they yeah. come over, you're like, what's this lady? Just it doesn't matter. I'm black, no matter. what. Yeah. They were always like, you know, uh, she has a checkered. There's always something super ethnic. A checkered vest on. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> a checkered vest, some pleated, like real yeah. wide side, but tapered leg pants on. It's Cosby dinner guest radio. Yeah. Cosby Cos- show, not Bill Cosby. No, not the, no. Not the ones that were raped. No, his via case. their wine. Uh, he was, it was, Allegedly. Alleged, it was a mistrial there. Well, you're right. Allegedly. It was a mistrial, so. Allegedly. Well, no, now you gotta restart all over again, oh, making me believe it. Oh, it's the bonfire, Comedy Central Radio Series X. Oh, no, the, the show, or? He's back to innocent to me. No, him and his foggy eye? He's, it's back to innocent for me. Yeah. Him, I look and his his home, eye. him and his homeless dog eye. Yeah, his oh, eye. Yeah. <laughs> we go. This thing has been mistreated. His eye looks like when they realized that the, uh, the dog's necklace was the galaxy <laughs> in Men in Black. Yeah. Yeah. It's He's got, got that- one of those. If you look into it, it goes. <sighs> Just the the world's not as small as you think. You gotta look inside the eye. What have I told you? I was right with those women to keep the universe intact. <laughs> what if I was to tell you those women were all bad aliens? <laughs> and I had to put my justice juice in them. <laughs> There's only one. Ah, oh, dude, what if we find out? And that was the mistrial. Finally, people looked away long enough that he was able to grab his fucking blinker. He goes, that's a mistrial. No one knows what's going on. Dr. Dr. Luxtable would never do that. Why are we here? Rape trial? Oh, no. Blasphemy. You got any more rape? <laughs> I, uh, looking for rape. <laughs> Met the world zone. Is this better? <laughs> oh, I can't drink red wine. Give it to me by Bill Cosby. <laughs> or else he'll rape me. Uh, <laughs> uh, sleepy time tea. <laughs> and then it just starts sounding like a deeper Bill Cosby. Plays <laughs> 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 the alien. Love the stuff. <laughs> More. <laughs> Substitute Cosby in for that Vincent D'Onofrio scene in the first Men in Black. Do you got any more sure than humans or illness? It's like a wearing a Cosby suit. As, uh, um, man, Will Smith from your neighborhood, which we discussed on so Thursday. That'd be so great. Uh, That'd be so great to fucking find a Bill Cosby who's the man in black saving us the entire time. That it was this elaborate, or you find out, I've always thought that about that. That is from the planet. Uh, like Jeffrey Dahmer when he yeah, ate he all five. those, when he ate all those gay men that he killed, if they were like, you know, they were a patient zero through five yeah. of AIDS. He goes, I was eating it. I was jumping <laughs> on the grenade. Hey, you're welcome, motherfuckers. Only I knew that by digesting the meat of AIDS, <laughs> could I have the serum. 
I could create my diary. Like, diarrhea. Don't eating. kill me. I am the cure. <laughs> <laughs> don't you understand? I was eating those gay sick men to cure them. <laughs> I like the picture. They're having the same exact conversation through that porthole there over in no... over an attractive black oh, no, radio. Because you know how we said that they were like, oh, those are black angels. They're looking through going, those white devils. Yeah. Just... <laughs> Look at them out there laughing. God knows what. Probably racisms. Probably taking, yeah, taking land. Don't believe Long to him, making it their own. <laughs> that big one looked like he from Colorado. I'm off. Hey, guys, that's not fair. <laughs> My grandfather moved there from Ireland. <laughs> what are you guys talking about over there? Uh, a bunch of hair products. He's got a bunch of over-salted recipes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry to barge in, but I was wondering what you wood boogers are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? You got me laughing like Burt Christ. What was that? I'll tell you exactly what it is. Uh, a guy this weekend who I met showed me a meme. Okay. Of, or a picture that was taken of yeah. like the Bigfoot Museum. Yeah. And all the different terms, uh, for Bigfoot oh, in the world. Jesus. And, uh, and there's just a lot of them that he pointed out would sound really funny in a racist Clint Eastwood That's voice. Really and he nailed it. Wood, I mean, wood that boogers? Sh- shut it down. That shut it down. There was, there, there's nowhere to go after that. Wood boogers? I was imagining how you tried to think of that. And the only, re- the only logical answer is it's a side nickname for Sasquatch. Yeah. That's that really wood like, I'm like, well, okay, sure. For you some reason. You do wood boogers. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, Christine has the video up of Stephanie Falcone rapping. Yes, bro. Oh, get, she deserves her time here. Yes, let, this, let this just play. Yeah, we didn't get to play this. Do we do that for, we did that was a live show, right? Yeah. That's oh, how yeah. she knows about it. I'm an idiot. Uh, we, of course, last Thursday had a live show where he said, if you just start the sentence, yes, brown, and you know the Bare Naked Lady song. By the way, someone tweeted at me this weekend. It works on Twitter, too. If you just tweet, it's Ben, <laughs> you hear it in the voice. Oh. It always goes mental voice. Last night, I think I told you it's already, but I woke up, uh, it's great. Fenoya. It's Fenoya's, uh, last like two weeks or so. Pledge week! Uh, living with us, and he, um, last night we went to bed, I bought a, a sound thing, like speak, multiple speaker system. Yeah. For the house, and uh, I had one in his room, and I mean, just ten minutes after we went to bed, blasted at full volume, and just, yeah, it's been one way I mean, and just that I is mean, startling to the point where it, you're lucky you didn't die. Dude, he came out laughing so hard. He's like, he's like I almost threw my computer <laughs> through the window. <laughs> he was just that was the most jog. It really just it's the perfect song it for starts it. Starts at an eight. Out of nowhere, he goes, yeah, it's been one <laughs> week since. <laughs> Yeah. There is no, it is shot out of a cannon, that song. Yeah, you go straight zero to 60 with that. Absolutely. But we were talking about that song, uh, last week. Yeah, on Thursday. Thursday. And, uh, and yes, Stephanie Falcone sent this video in and, and she deserves her respect for this. So play it real quick. And by the way, you, we're going to read, we, uh, we'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Game. Yeah, Oh, but now and watch the hood work. Does it make you stop there? You'll think you're looking at Aquaman. Okay. I'm a fish to the dish, although I like the shower Swiss. I like the sushi because it's never touch a frying pan. Hot like wasabi when a boss runs. Big like me and Ron's. Because I'm all about value. Bert Kemp has got the mad hits. You try to match wits. You try to hold me, but I bust through. Gonna make a break and take a flake. I like a stick and make a shake. I like vanilla. It's the finest of the flavors. Gotta see the joke because I don't know the vertigo is gonna go because it's so dangerous. You'll have to sign a waiver. I'll get a little bit of a I don't sing. Yeah. Yeah. So she waves back. But wait, no, she comes back, yeah. dude. Oh, dude, she drills it. She's good. Her ex Bratton. The ex Bratton. I'll jump in. She refuses to sing. Her ex Bratton. Also, lovely bed canopy. But I like how patient she is. It's like Andy Kaufman when he did Mighty Mouse. Oh. Here comes. Actually, no, it doesn't. There's a little breakdown. Right here. Oh, you're right. Some lounging music. Here it goes. 
Are you recording a recording? I'm going to. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. Yeah. You have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. Watching next files with no lights on, with all the maze on. I hope the smoking man's in this. So when my terrorist in Ford, I'm getting frantic. Like think I'm tantric. Like think I'm staring to be satisfied. Like Kurosawa, I make mad films. Okay, I don't make films. But if I did it, have a samurai. Then I get a set of better cubs. No matter what time I'm turning, I just know my arms are always flying off the back soon. Gotta get into my ceremony because I cartoonists get the boom men and their babes that make you think the wrong thing. We should put her on. We should put her on uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Twister? I didn't realize she was Twister. Yeah, she's like, again. Michael Charles, y'all. Great job, Stephanie Velcro. I feel like they hate us. And every time I look over, I feel like they're looking back at us. They do hate you. But we are against those oh, is this a little thuggish ruggish? Yeah. Is that the only one you know, Lou? They're going in. Yes. No, DJ? That's more. Yeah, they got a whole bunch, dude. You're listening to Bone Radio. What happened to Christine on the walk in? I missed it. You said you had a Christine moment on the walk in. Oh, I didn't have a Christine moment. Christine had a Christine moment. <laughs> she was trying to beat me around uh, the corner, so yeah. we took two different routes to get to the same point. Which Christine? Which way did you go? Did you go down this? I, this cut, I did the cut through. Yeah, she did the cut through. So Christine, if you picture is going so like a zigzag halls. motion. Yes, so there's two hallways that run parallel to each other, and in the middle there is a hallway that you can cut through. So if you go faster, you can cut up and over. So I'm in the hallway that we're ultimately in. Yeah, which there's the hallway of the studio, and then parallel on the other side is there another. Christine's hallway. on the parallel. Yeah. She tries the hall ass to get ahead of me. Okay. And cut up the middle yeah. to be in front of me in our hallway. Did you run? As she No. No, she just like power walked it. But as soon as she Yeah. <laughs> as soon as she as she comes around the corner, yeah. picture this. She has to make a left okay. to be in front of me, but as she's got her head turned she right. She has to make a right, then a left to be in front of you. Right. right, walk down the hallway, left in front of you. She's coming. Out, she's getting ready to cut me off. Yeah, but rather than just turn left and cut me off, yeah, she looks. She keeps looking back at me, and as she's making her left hand turn, has her chin into her right shoulder, like, making smarmy face. Like, oh, look who burned your ass! Uh, meanwhile, walking full speed, power walk right into a stack of chairs. The best. And she goes, and it was the most organic, not girly. It made me very embarrassed for her and by her. That's so good. She was like, she was like, boo. It was such a masculine, did like, the chair, did like, the just ch took a fucking uh, a seat to the chops. She said, Burr. She said Boo! Burr. Watch out, chairs! She was scared. You know what? It was a combination of terrified yes. and hitting something also. Like, everything because happened at once. It's a, all of a sudden just a thing in your face, and you, and you ran into it. There's I don't want to be this guy, but all that black show over there right now seems to be having tech difficulties. They have to have a white guy come there and figure it all out. I don't know if you see that. Do you, you see their black Lou, black Lou? They have a white Lou. They have, they have their own white somebody. Yeah, they go, we're going to call you White Mike. That's <laughs> Black Mike. Who's that little guy that comes in here sometimes? Is that the bald guy? Yeah, the bald, guy, that yeah, hates the bald guy who hates us. Angry Baby? I, oh, I don't know his name. That's Jameson. Oh, I call him Angry Baby. No, no, Jameson's the black fellow that just walked in there. Angry Baby's this, the little, the little bald guy, little bald white guy that's like, he does not like us. He goes, what are you guys doing in here? Having fun? You know what? He's like one of those old, uh, like Rudolph cartoons. Yeah. Like that's how you'd animate him. Nah, like, nah, you guys aren't supposed to be having fun. <laughs> You're in radio. Work nah. is work. Work. Make more radio. He used Make the, more radio. He uses the word horseplay ironically. Yeah. No horseplay. Yeah, that is, that's him. He fucking hates us. Yeah. Um, Wood Booger made me spit my tea out, says Tim from yeah. New York City. <laughs> Wood Booger's the best. It, was the it best may one. be the best. <laughs> Let's go to the hey, dude, if you go to the other studio, uh, I made a joke about the bigger fella that's in there, the sports studio. He looks like he's collapsed into himself like he's his own beanbag. He really <laughs> does look like, it looks like his I know shoulders. That's a visual joke for an audio medium, but. No, 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 this will work. Like, we could do this. It looks like his shoulders are growing over his head. Yeah, where he's like, help me. My head is going into my like, torso. Oh. I'm losing it. Please. I'm about to become just a Body. <laughs> yeah, that's how he looks. But I feel like I want to stand on his shoulders and pull his head like... <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, then we just got to pull you up a notch. Hang on. Don't you understand? All of the secrets will be in my body if you let me die. Uh, get over here. Yeah. He's got uh, 
he's got swagger. I'll tell you what, his face is very you, confident for a big guy folding into himself. Can I tell you exactly what kind of body posture it is? What? It's Biggie Mo, Mo, Mo Money Mo Power. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a little, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I don't give a shit. You know, I feel paranoid all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on this sports station. I'll be worried my head's about to sink into my lap. You know Truth be told, I was the more of a commentator than an athlete. Uh, yeah, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? I never really did a lot of running. Oh, baby, baby. I, mean, <laughs> I just be running these streets. Oh, Biggie, you know, little kid, watch my back. Little kid, we gotta get in the phones. Oh. Speaking of half black music, um, Lou, Black Lou. Black Lou got married. Got married during yeah. the break. <laughs> uh, to a white woman. Hell yeah. Congratulations. That's super progressive. I love it. I can't wait to see your your half black and white babies. Is there a picture up anywhere? Can we see of the ceremony or was it a secretive thing? Did you have to elope? Did, was her dad angry? He goes, oh. he goes you're going to try to tell me you're going to take my daughter as your wife? Excuse me? Do you understand that we are pure pink? Do you know what that means? We can trace it back. To the Anglo-Saxon tribe that we belong to. I remember when the first day you came to my house and I said, my daughter's not going to be dating some grape ape around town. <laughs> but I've come to be able to want to call you son. Now I tell you this, I don't care how high my grandson can jump. I'll keep thinking about your damn blood running through his veins. <laughs> Have some respect, sir. I don't care if he can no look pass into traffic. The fact that you're his daddy will bug me. <laughs> to the day I meet sweet Jesus. I gotta say, the first day I met you, I was like, this guy probably sweats motor oil. <laughs> but now, I can at least call you friend. I might have not agree with your odd hair care products. <laughs> but damn it, my girl sees something in you. <laughs> and I better not see anything in her in my house. <laughs> Uh, was it like that, Black Lou? I mean, not not like that. Not that, <laughs> not that funny, but he is a, a retired drill sergeant for the Marines. No oh, shit. Yeah, so that Where'd was, she grow up? She grew up in Connecticut, and they oh, now live in, now they live in Boston. So. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And, he goes, and can I also name her? She is. Her great-great-grandfather did establish the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> more, more and more shit like that. <laughs> he goes, yes. There was a black intruder in their house when they were young, and her brother was raped and murdered. And like, yeah! <laughs> they, uh, her family, her uncles actually own the flammable crucifix yeah. on a factory. It's, so it's not like at this point they don't even believe it. It's just business. <laughs> it's just business. <laughs> it's just their business. So was he, how far into dating her did you meet her father? Hmm. I mean, we were friends for a long time. Okay. So, um, did you grow up with her? No. Okay. No, we, she went to Seton Hall. Oh, and I'm from Jersey, so. Yeah. When you walked up to the house, was the dad like, why did your taxi driver walk you to the door? <laughs> no, she, it's okay. She's got her own bags. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got it from here, Lamar. <laughs> ah, don't worry. My girl will give you however, however many stars get your people fed. <laughs> Uh, what are you looking for? A couple extra bucks from your old man? Here's a five for Tito. Get the hell off my block. <laughs> Go tell Jermaine and Mike I'll hear you. Hey, Latoya. <laughs> <laughs> what a mean thing there. Oh, dude, she's beautiful. Oh, Black Lou. What a sweet looking couple. My little Irish princess. Oh, yeah. yeah she, she's white though, huh? Oh, I love she's that. Like, yeah. Lou, will you tell me about the radio station you work at? <laughs> <laughs> My father was a drill sergeant in the IRA. I should have told you. It's not so much that you're black. Don't mind that at all. It's that, you know, we're What's from her name? Northern Ireland. What's her oh, name? Alyssa. Alyssa, you dated my sweet daughter, Alyssa. Hey, yeah. Mr. Alyssa, why come every time I come over your house? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> why come every time I come to your house? I see you got like belts wrapped around all the furniture, tying all the furniture together. Uh, well, it's a little bit of a tradition, but <laughs> you know, I think you're good for me, daughter. Where you think I'm gonna take it? I. <laughs> 
Boy, you're given a new term for the. You're given a new meaning for the term Black Irish. Uh, that's so. Oh long, yeah, your long, kids are going to be Black Irish, Lou. Hell yeah! If your son's uh, a rapper and doesn't use that name, I will haunt him from the grave. <laughs> Black uh, Irish. Where uh, you got a shot of making a little Steph Curry? Yeah. No, I think both of his. I think his. Yeah, his mom's white and his dad's black. Yeah, but he's like a, he's like a red hair and shit, sort of. Mm-hmm. He's like a black ginger. You get to give him that uh, Malcolm X, <laughs> beautiful red hair. Uh, you guys met when you were in Jersey and height was so at Seton Hall. Well, she, I mean, uh, I worked at a mall near okay. me, Bridgewater Mall, and she was my manager. Awesome. Yeah, at a store called Easy Spirit. Yeah, what is Easy Spirit? <laughs> the fucking old lady, sneakers? old lady store? sneakers and shoes. Yep. <laughs> Dude, Hell yeah. Yeah. What are you, Al Bundy? <laughs> Christine, please bring yeah. up an Easy Spirit commercial or something. Oh. It's literally like your Aunt Doris is like favorite sneaker, <laughs> like that she, she walks goes, around the schoolyard too. She goes, Dad, my sciatica hurts. <laughs> I need to get new shoes, and they fit my insole. <laughs> Look, I mean, dude, these are fucking they're secretary sneakers. Oh. Like these are the sexy, the sexy ones. <laughs> I've got them. I've got a date with my Reginald. <laughs> I would. Oh, back when my George was alive. Anti gravity. Can you find the commercial? Yeah, get a commercial up. Yeah. Not an ad. We turn up for the print it. ad. Hey. For a print. That's great for the radio. Yeah, hey, check out this new print. Hey, you guys ad. want to describe fifteen print ads? Oh, look at that! It's fifteen percent off of those insoles. Oh man, something tells me. Uh, your girl. Uh, <laughs> Work Dude, that's fucking hilarious. You're a woman's shoe salesman. It's black chicks. Fuck it. You sold these? Actual gameplay in easy spirit pumps. Oh, I love to go actual gameplay in pumps. Meanwhile, it's just awful dribbling. They think he goes, can you believe all these sick ass basketball moves are happening in pumps? Like, <laughs> you see it looked like women terrified playing basketball in pumps. One lady fucked around and got a triple double. In pumps. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh. Re- Available at Dillard's. Yeah. <laughs> she says she put up a triple thumb. I mean, crazy numbers. Yeah, she just put up. I mean, Russell, Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. Yeah. <laughs> She's just fucking steals. Is this another one? Or same ad? It's a, it's a different one. That one was from 91. This was so that's the entire sales pitch, uh, Black Lou, it seems, is that you can play basketball in these pumps? Is that what you do when they were trying on shoes? You go, now, how does that feel? But what if I told you you were running a full court press in these things? <laughs> is this the final, like, remember, like, uh... What was it? This boy's life. Yeah. When he wouldn't buy him sneakers, he made him play in dr- basketball and dress shoes like that. That's the thing there. It's like, hey, do you have an abusive stepfather? <laughs> Maybe they want you to play. He goes, guess what? You can play in these high heels. Are you in a very niche basketball league? Come on, Dwight. I need Converse or at least a pair of Easy Spirits. He goes, all right. Listen, I understand that you're my abusive stepdad and you're not going to let me wear my Nikes. <laughs> but can I at least wear my mom's pumps? What is the sell on these? Well, what it is is that they are anti-gravity, so they're lighter than your normal heel. Oh. So a lot of ladies would come in. But they're lighter than gravity? Do you mean like... Is Dude, they-, they got shockproof shock foam. You guys got too many use... Oh, these oh, nuns? No. A nun in heels? Oh, they're not getting posted up? Oh, yeah. They're running suicides? Oh. oh, come on, that's hooking! Get up! That's hooking! Get a body on her, Bullshit! Barbara. Put a goddamn body on her! <laughs> Listen! Oh, what is that? That's so gross. That's so gross. That looks like a real foot. That's so gross, like a high heel. It's Photoshop, Dan. You're a Photoshop, Christine. <laughs> it looks like that foot swallowed a high heel. That did look weird. Guys, I told you right now, when we ro- when we run Jayhawk, I need your heels in the paint. Well, now I want to see this. I mean, the 10 most bizarre shoes. Mm-hmm. What is that Pinterest. Mean? That's a made-up. That's, just, that's dumb. Why is the ad so long? I'm knocking over papers. I'm getting real into this shit. <laughs> People, there's things going on in the world out there. Um, what was he gonna say, Lou? What was your what was your wedding song? It was uh, Al Green. Let's stay together. Aww. That sounds like a plea for a problem yeah. happening. Isn't that that song? Play that song. It's about them going through something. Here we go. Here, Al oh. whispers it. Let's stay together. My name is Black Lou. There she is. Dance with my damn princess. God, what did I do wrong? 
Did she do it that, like, did her father give her away? Yes. All right. Was Both it hard for him? Was did, he he hold, in, did he hold her for a long time? <laughs> he, he held her a little tight, yeah. Was he in his military garb? No, he wasn't. Okay. No, he's been retired for a while. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does she have siblings? She does. She has a younger brother and a younger sister. Okay. So yeah. you got the oldest sister. Baby. Yes, basically. Baby girl, this is your big day. And I'm just telling you right now. You say the word, I will lasso that some bitch's feet and drag him by a goddamn truck. Do you remember when I used to bathe you when you were a tiny girl? <laughs> I always said, if the day comes where you're marrying a black man and you want out, <laughs> you look at me and you say, I'm ready to shake my rattle again. <laughs> and I will throw one of the largest haymakers ever to strike an unsuspecting man. Oh, we well, go back to that pair of shoes. Well, I'm sorry, this is on the background. Honey, but there was something that was a problem. I didn't know we were going to get in the shoes. I mean, where was that? It was like a thing stabbing you in the heel. Look at that. Those are flippers with heels. Yeah, here it comes. Look. Pause that. Oh, tweet that out. What the fuck is that? At the Bonfire SXM, you're an asshole if you're wearing a nail. <laughs> <laughs> you're wearing a nail under your fucking heel. You're certainly not cool. I mean, what's the idea of that? You just, like, walk around? Like, <laughs> guys, want to see my made-up shoes? <laughs> Look at these nail shoes. I just push her down. Hey, you're dumb. Yeah, I mean, it's like walking. On, you have to walk around in your tiptoes. Also, it sounds like you're... There's no support for that. If you heard it, it would sound like someone was coming down the hall in stilts. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either a light horse or someone in stilts is walking down here. <laughs> a very, very light horse. Oh, dude, when we come back, I would oh, yeah, really, love, right, Jesus. Yeah, I would love to talk to you about, uh, I watched a documentary last night. Yeah. I started falling asleep on it. It was losing me, but it's so ridiculous how serious they made this thing look for something so dumb. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, extraordinary. Have you seen it yet? Dude, I want to watch this about the alien abduction. It mm -hmm. is so stupid. Stop it. It's, well, we'll talk about it when we come right. back. Uh, until then. Wait, if I dance to it, tell me if the black people look at me. Oh, this is a song I met your grandmama too. His best friend is a black guy. Oh, that's enough for me, everybody. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, Ladies man. and gentlemen, announcing Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Batat. <laughs> Christine, you are my queen. <laughs> I want to listen to Kenny Rogers with you. It would be fitting that Christine and Jacob would end up together. <laughs> It'd be great. It's the bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. We're doing wedding music all day. Because Black Lou. A.K.A. Lou 2, A.K.A. Married Lou, got married. Black Lou got married to his sweet Irish princess. Bachelor party night four. We had, uh, we had a week in AC yeah. uh, nice. a couple months ago. What did you guys do to stay up late night and eat cereal? Yeah, play some Madden. Yeah. You know, some which Madden. you can't do when you get married. Did yeah. You, did you bang a hooker? I didn't. Your friends did though. Yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. They had them though there. Oh yeah, they were and walking you, around. You chose not to. Nah, you a know. good guy. Yeah, blink at me if you're lying. I stayed open. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, for the record, if your wife's listening, he didn't blink. He didn't blink. And that was hard. He's a blinky fella. I am so, pretty blinky. We started talking about wedding songs, and you brought up uh, off air. Yeah, why well, I, I wanted to wait till we came back on because it reminded me of the Lou is a was a wedding DJ, White Lou. Yeah, not, not good weddings though, like cheap cheap weddings. Single. Okay, yeah, cheap weddings, and where you do you meet with the couple always first and go through a whole thing with that? Yep, yeah. How's everything gonna go? We plan absolutely everything. Yeah, you do. Now, has anyone ever been like super meticulous? Like at this moment, I need you to hit me with Christina Aguilera's. No, because it's not a rich uh, wedding, so any? they don't care. They're just like, ah, oh, we need to have a DJ. You have never, you never had anybody like do a choreographed thing or anything ever. No way. But yeah, I I'd nothing right with, with the it. F or N word, dude. Our guy. One tried to fuck Haley Boyle, which is hilarious. <laughs> All right. Um, was a, a female comic that yeah. is hilarious. And by the way, she's like a tall and stature woman. He was like a Jacob sized guy. Yeah. My wedding DJ. But my favorite thing when he came over, dude, like him trying to tell me with a straight face 
and show him. He goes, so here's what you're going to do. He goes, now when it's time for you to take the garter off the yeah. leg, and I'm like, all right, I'll do that. I'll, I'm fine. I'll play the game yeah. a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? I get it. I think it's also silly and stupid, but, like, sure, I'll do that. But I go, I go I'll go in there and take it off and then throw it over my shoulder. And yeah. I'm fine with that. Sure. But he was like, now when you come out, he goes, you're going to want to do like, uh, like you're too cool for school. He's like, fan yourself. Like, 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 it's like, no. like look at your chicken, give her like the hot no. tamale thing. No. He's like, and also straight up because he was, let her know, like, work through him, like, let her know, like, this is your moment. And I go, no. Dude, you're going to have to stop everything you're saying, this man. This is a room full of comedians. I'm like, there's no fucking way I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah there's no way. He goes, no. he goes, now he goes, no, no, you don't understand. He goes, I know it seems silly, but I'm telling you, like, in that moment, like, you're going like, like, to, he's going to give me good advice where he's like, no, no, I've dealt with this before. I know you think your boy's going to make fun of you, but like, Listen. I'm telling you, that's the thing is, he was maybe even put on some sunglasses and like, uh, I'm like, dude, I can't, I can't do what you're saying. You know who my friends are? I'm not doing it. He goes, here's the Well, I'm like, I don't want to do Listen, my heart would say not to do it. I don't need my friends for that, but I'm like, also, goes, I'm not going to break down and just do it for the sake that I'm, I'm going to get obliterated. Also, you got to understand, this is where you're kind of, this is your last moment. You're married now, so you got to show yeah. her that you're the cool husband. Yeah, you're, you're the man. You're the guy. That she wants to, you know, bone. I don't even want to say that you didn't get married in Philly, did you? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, I was going to uh, Philly wedding DJ. He's like, yeah, and you're, you know, you're going to go home and bone. <laughs> right now, you got to show here that you're the man. All right. Do you promise to empty this guy's house the entire <laughs> yeah. time? I love that he did the fanning thing. Where Are you guys like, going to buy a house? Oh, he did. He goes, like, he goes you're too hot. He goes, ooh, like hot tamale, ah, right? He's saying all that. I'm like, oh, this, this fucking sucks, dude. It's giving me I'm like, get out of my house. Yeah. yeah. He goes, okay, I want you to walk around and you're going to look at it. Maybe put on some shades. Maybe even do the thing where you pull the shades down over your nose and you go, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, okay, all right. And he didn't tell me, uh, when he was telling me maybe to even pop my collar. Oh. And the problem was his collar unironically popped already at my house as he's telling me that I should do this a month later. Without revealing he all. He came of over it. with the pop collar. Did he have a na Did he go by a, a government name or did he have a DJ name that you called him? The Fuck, I do not remember. Carla might know that. He's like, hey, what's up? It's DJ Radish. Uh, listen, just want to watch you guys do some stuff. <laughs> Radish. I, uh, I go through a lot of wedding deeds. You know, I've seen this. And again, Jay, I know your buds are going to be there. And they don't want you to act cool. But you need to go around your bride. Your they life call, partner now. And kind of show me, her. They call me DJ Flop Sweat. Now, uh, I'm here. anyways, I will get drunk, uh, a little too drunk about halfway through and start trying to fuck really any stragglers I see. Uh, anyone hanging around, anyone requesting music, I'll touch on her lower back. Lou, you said you've not gotten laid from a, at a wedding? Or you have? No, no. Never. Lou goes, <laughs> low budget wedding. <laughs> some, girl so what? Over, some girl comes over Bad with just a, a fucking half a cranberry and vodka. She goes, I'll fuck you in the bathroom. And Lou goes, no, I can't. I'm playing Metallica next. <laughs> <laughs> just looking down. He goes, I love to. He goes, let me see if I got a 12 inch. He goes, don't look at me while I'm talking to you, but like, let me see if I got a 12 inch remix of Mambo number no. five. He goes, and oh, I'll God. The you know what? If I can kick up a chicken dance, I'll meet you. <laughs> <laughs> goes, Let me see if I can throw a little Bohemian Rhapsody oh. in the queue with Freebird. You're going to shit, but I just found a seven-minute version of Boot Scoot and Boogie. <laughs> 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 he goes, he goes, well, if I'll be honest with you, you might want to go take those pennies off because Becky just spent a 10 minute Georgia satellites. <laughs> I gotta change in my pocket going yeah. He goes, wings. you are about to get deed up so nice in the bathroom because first off, this couple's in their mid 30s and I just found November rain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this so? Uh, when he was asking me to do that, uh, that corn bally shit, I love that. Like you're too hot. That makes me want to find him and fight him. Yeah. That's how uncomfortable <laughs> it makes me. Um, th this we we found some videos of people doing like choreographed. Yeah, this is. I have this one that I know. It's a wedding entrance dance, and then there's a lot of people that like to recreate dirty dancing. Yeah, well, there's like, have well, I gone into spirals watching these videos on my own? Sure. <laughs> do you, do you have it like we have a porn path? You have a wedding path where yeah. you go, I ain't like the ones that I don't like, but then here's some other ones that are gay. <laughs> like I don't know why I'm doing justice. Yeah. society. <laughs> Christine's flicking bean to uh, sad wedding shit. But it's, uh, this came off of, I told you off air, I believe too, that when I was in the show Z Rock. Yeah. Uh, Paulie Z, the star of the show, or one of the stars, three stars of the show. Ooh. 
Um, when I went to his wedding. Yeah. That last. By the way, the wedding lasted. I'm not exaggerating. Like weeks. It was like a very short. Like like the. The marriage, I mean. Oh, the oh. marriage lasted weeks. Weeks, so they were, were and it was a big players. one. Oh boy, at a big place, and they did. Was she a super hot? Full, yeah, she was pretty hot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she was hot. Yeah, she's like a belly dancer. Yeah, it was like. And, and was like, she Indian? She no. She was, a white, she was a white blonde girl, but it was oh. funny. Was funny was they used to also like crowbar. Like she would open their like rock and roll shows. Like she would go out first and do her little thing. Uh, that's not. That's not. Uh, his wife. No. His ex-wife. No, I don't know how many pictures you'll find of them or whatever. But anyway, they, um, but he and his ex-wife did a fucking full choreographed, like, routine. And I felt bad for him. Like, it was very uncomfortable. Did, did he look, watch. did he look like one of those performing, like, dancing bears where you're like, no, he because no choice. He's, he had no, no choice he's a, this. he's a ham. Yeah. And he's like a silly ham. You know what I mean? He doesn't yeah. mind being a goofball. So, like, if it makes sense, like he just did it, he bit into it completely. But it was awkward watching it. Ah, uh, because I I told this story off air. My cousin emailed us for her wedding a couple of years, like five years, five or six years ago, and she's like, "We're all gonna like play this song and like blow away all the parents and do this dance." And I was just like, "Deleted." Yeah, I'll be fucking getting high with Andy on the side of the house. <laughs> we're uh, like, we're not dude, cousins anymore. <laughs> good job, corn balls. Dude, before we dive into these videos, what well, also want to remind me of, because we haven't said it yet, but uh, uh, off the air here in studio, my sister Shauna's here watching up from Philly. Yeah. And we're talking about the awkwardness of watching somebody perform something that's weird. One of the most bizarre, we went to my great-grandmother's, like, 90-something birthday when yeah. they were younger. Yeah. Her and my other sister were younger, but not that, like... 14 and 13 or 14 and like 10 maybe I don't know whatever it was yeah make sense but they at my grandmother's the, the presents they got my great grandmother in front of a bunch of family and like her old lady friends was my brother and stepfather played the guitar to a track of uh <laughs> Mama, I'm coming home by Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> and her mother's sister, just little two little girls, like, Ma, and like a, like a shitty choreographed little girl that's like, Mama, I'm coming home. Do you remember that? And I was sitting there uncomfortable as hell. I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, why is my stepfather playing the guitar on this? No. Like, why is everyone doing, well, taking part in this awkward thing? Bernice, this is for you. Bernice. <laughs> Selma. Selma. <laughs> Selma, over here. Selma, you ready? Selma. Here we go. Go now. Go now. But poor grandma, great grandmothers are the victims of all that. Not only did she get that, forget that, uh, 20 some years before that, she had a dose of, uh, oh, hey, great grandma, Selma, thank God you're here. Want to watch me do the entire thriller choreography? Perfect. Sit oh, here. Yeah. And then did the entire thriller. And she just kept saying it was wonderful. You're such, but a, by, good, you're such a good dancer, Jason. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh god! She was like you're going great, but, 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 but polio when I was a little girl. But she was a lump in a chair by yeah. the time Sean and Haley went there. Mama, you told me lies. You made me cry. I mean, the, uh, the lyrics don't even apply to uh, anything. Yes. Why well, won't sweet death come? Mama, and get me. I'm coming home. <laughs> no, please let me die now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I please go oh, peacefully? Oh. I could be right. If it's been there. so long. Oh, God. Great right grandma, there. I'm coming home. Please take my life. I never intended to go this far. <laughs> I'll come back to haunt you if I can. Oh, you're all the devils. <laughs> Dude, it was so awkward. I remember sitting at that thing being like, this is really weird that That's, they're doing this. Yeah. My stepfather so seriously playing the guitar. Locked in. I mean, not seeing the, that anyone else in the room would be like, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so playing the guitar thing in two. <laughs> oh, God, that you're saying. <laughs> 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 like, you're taking that yeah. way too seriously. But <laughs> things like trying to like, finger pick <laughs> solos and shit. <sighs> sun, <sighs> sun's everywhere. Sun's uh. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's <laughs> that. Watching people perform is tough. That's why. But my stepfather's not a very good guitar player. Yeah, he but just that... sort of picked it up in noodles a little bit. Like, so him going there to do a performance, he's like, "Hey, let's kick out a live performance." Was he going? Was he watching in the bridge the whole time, watching his fingers? He goes, "A oh C yes A C C A." It was so weird. And two little girls singing the lyrics to a song about a guy apologizing for fucking other people on the road behind his wife's bed. <laughs> it's literally what Mama Coming Home is about. It's him apologizing to Sharon Osbourne for being a piece of shit on the road. Dude, that's so that's funny. what the song's about. If you're like, great grandma, we're coming home. If, if you're if so, other pussy makes me stray. In. It's so funny though if your great grandma knew that and she goes, "It's about Ozzy fucking <laughs> other women." You girls are idiots. <laughs> you might as well have played Crazy Train. It's more appropriate. <laughs> At least kick off with ah. some war picks. <laughs> Set the tone. <laughs> I, was gonna say that. I, go, I don't know. Maybe you're singing. Maybe you're singing to a World War One generation. <laughs> some war pigs would have been nice. <laughs> Rip out some war pigs. They just say, Mom, I'm coming home. What a weird family memory to have right now. <laughs> Fucking great, though. You start noticing the lyrics. Like, oh, God. And lost and found and turned. I mean, it's just two children, little girls that were... Uh, and Joe's sticking it. Just walking the corner. <laughs> Why did Joe make the whole family do it? Yeah. That was a I, gift? I, I think my mom knew better. Than this. My mom. I think my mom has a sense of, like... This will be a little embarrassing. <laughs> she goes, my mom's not, she a, goes, my mom's not an embarrass me mom. She never spent a lot of time embarrassing me. She, she my goes, mom's pretty mellow. She goes, Jason and I are going to watch this. You guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was coming home to visit from New York, and she was like, we'll just we'll check it out in the corner. We'll sit next to great grandma. And we're behind great grandma going like, I can't believe those girls did a choreography. <laughs> The grandma goes. Ah. I mean, dude, it's a little girl, like it's like the riding, <laughs> the, the riding, lost the and wall. found and turned turn around. They turn around. Fires <laughs> in Shana, your eyes. How do you not remember this at all? <laughs> she fucking remembers it. You've got to remember this. Oh, she remembers it. We weren't that young. When I when she goes to bed, I make sure she does. Let's get my mom on the horn. If we get my mom on the horn, I, I bet my mom will say she made a purposeful decision to fucking check out of that performance. But let's, uh, I mean, that is the, what you're feeling watching them perform is the same feeling you get at a wedding when you see someone do a choreographed thing where you're like, stop Have you ever seen a lot? This, uh, as a choreographed dance? Yeah, or, or, or not a choreographed dance, just like some sort of like a yes, overacting, putting the shades on and doing that whole Dude, bullshit. it's so uncomfortable. Play one of those videos, Christine? Draft. No. <laughs> it was like Draft House not on your site. Well, it is on my site, so I don't know why we're doing this. This is an entrance in? Yeah. This will all be up on at the bottom. At the Pause bonfire. it real quick. Pause it real quick. We have to, at one point, of course, we've watched the crazy bitch introduction, the white trash wedding, oh, yeah, where the girl yeah, comes yeah. into Buck Cherry. Yeah. So that's what I'm always, after you see that video, you always hope it's that. <laughs> it's not that. Because this, this is when the bride comes in, she goes, you fuck so good, you're on top of it. And the guy just takes his son and he goes, okay. Oh, <laughs> there's, like, there's like a guy on camera and he goes, he's fucking This lady. has to be like a bunch of kids that met in theater in college got married or okay. something. I don't you know. know. So it's a gay wedding. Ah! I don't know if this will be that, but the, what it really is coming up next, by the way, in Harlem, it's like a nine-minute wedding entrance. Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. It says, to make donation towards violence prevention, and it gives a website. That's the ad in the video. <laughs> this has 95 million views, by the way. Holy shit. <laughs> These guys can work the funny bone in Omaha <laughs> with that many hits. I'd have to be very drunk yeah, to you even see, I mean, kind of like, accomplish this. They're it's so just, serious. It's just like schlubby white dudes trying to dance. It's got 95 million views. Yeah, they performed it on the Today Show. I, I think hate this you. was like the first one that really hit. I'd be like this. Ah, oh, dude, Chad, I'm looking forward to going to your wedding. I am not looking forward to doing this. I, I feel so... Oh, dude, no. If Chad... Dude, if Chad saved me in Nam, I wouldn't do this for him. Yeah. I'd be like this. Hey, you're going to have to shoot junk into my arm for me to do this. You're going to have to have me all fucking H'd up. Hey, you know what? This guy's moves, I, you could have got me to agree to this. Oh, <laughs> right, pick it up. Oh! oh! I'm back Handstand. in. Handstand! You know what? I got no beef with this guy. <laughs> You're good. 
you can go. Uh, Here's where I check back out. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you know what? They're, they're not really going for it. They're kind of flaking out on the whole commitment. He, he's like, I'm sorry, I have a day job. I couldn't come to the rehearsal. <laughs> sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, I, run I have a pretty, pretty important job. Sorry. I, I run a pretty important company. Goodbye. <laughs> These guys are like, This guy's like, I've been out of work since October. <laughs> the one on the yeah. Right. The one on the right. it. I killed a teenager with my car. <laughs> I got nothing but I time. got a special chance from house arrest to be here. Oh, this is my girlfriend. She made me do this slide. She yelled at me the entire time we were back. And she goes, Douglas, Douglas, we're going to go out there and do that. He goes, I don't want to do it. It's simple four count rhythm, Douglas. I think I catch it. I mean, how long is this video? Uh, what's worse is seeing the the shittily impressed family. First of all, how long can you clap for? Oh, everyone gave up. There's everyone, only one guy clapping. Everyone's numbing up. They go. That's a grim. What a jackal. I hope he's divorced. <laughs> <laughs> he wore he a... He wore a fucking brown. Yeah, what is he getting fucking married? Milkshake in? machine salesman suit. <laughs> yeah. Like, what if I told you I had a vacuum that could clean up anything? <laughs> Pepper filter built in. Yeah. At the bonfire, SXM to see this fucking cringeworthy. Oh, God. Where's the Harlem one? That Bored just... white people entrance. Yeah, stack it against the Harlem one. Yeah, oh, hold I mean, on. Harlem's gonna be no. Hold on. Oh wait, you guys are missing the breakdown. We're all doing a matrixy thing. If I was like a twelve year old me was watching this, I'd be like, These guys are fucking losers. Look at the look at the female priest who's literally just waiting there going like, All right now She goes, I had to fight through sexism to get ordained. <laughs> she goes, And you guys are just basically making a mockery of the thing that I've dedicated my life to. And you chubby bitches in tight dresses are yeah. setting us back 400 years. Nice color scheme. Who picked it out? Mr. Magoo? <laughs> oh, the bride. Oh, the orchestrator of all this. The one that made it the most difficult. This seems like something where it may have been the husband. No. I think it is. I think it may have been the husband. She is not really making the most of her time. Yeah, and the husband... She's familiar. Husbands can be bridezillas, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he definitely made it. You're right. This was totally the husband. He's like, the husband. he's like, can my parents give me away? He goes, the music's giving you away. Yeah. yeah. She's like, yeah, but I, my dad's actually pretty upset. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, uh, I, I think... Can your father dance? <laughs> yeah, she goes, Brett, I think it's really cute, like, what you plan and everything, but I don't think it's a good idea for us to hit, take two hits of ecstasy <laughs> before we walk down the alley. The alley. Fucking fat. No, not Har Whoa. not Harlem. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> not Harlem Shake. It's uh, not the Harlem Shake. It's it just. Where did I just see this video clip? It said like it's just a a wedding in Harlem. I don't know, but I'll tell you that most of these are pretty much the same. Where there's like twenty five percent of the people are super committed, and everyone else is just doing it. Oh, dude. I mean. It's got to be a black wedding. Wait, bride and her brother do That's epic weird. evolution of dance style to kick off the wedding reception. First off, you're like, wait, your first dance is going to be with your brother? We got different rules in this. By the way, that's happened more than once. Look at all this. Oh, you know what, though? I'll tell you what. If you look at if you have, like, crazy parents. Yeah. Like, when I watch America's Got Talent, a lot of times there's, like, a brother and sister. Dude, there like, was little one... kid dance group. <clears throat> oh, Did you yeah. see the one on America's Got Talent where they're whipping around on the roller skates? And oh, yeah. And they're both hot, and they're brother and sister, and you're all... Yeah. You're like, is this a serious say thing? Uh, <laughs> my blood... Totally Game of Thrones. I walk back, I'm rubbing my chest, I go, by blood or by marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all brother and sister, by blood or by marriage, just want to know. Is there, like, a hard ER on those herbs? <laughs> <laughs> is it an A? Is it more of a... Familiar, a eh? Sister. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Sister. Oh, this is what people love to do. Dirty. Dude, if this goes... I want to see it go wrong. The lift. It goes wrong more than it goes right. No, I, saw, no, I, mean, I, mean, I, I mean, I want to see this it go guy, the table behind I love him. that this is, the, this is the groom and how he's dressed. Like he's working a kiosk in the mall. <laughs> yeah, he really looks like he's selling pagers. No, dude. No, he's dressed like Patrick he's Swayze, Swayze in the movie. Oh, well, it's Patrick Swayze thing. is dressed like he's selling pagers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Patrick yeah. Swayze did dress like a guy who currently sells pagers. Do you think the black people are talking about this exact same thing right now? Yeah, yeah. What's up with white people getting married, man? <laughs> <laughs> white people suck at getting married. <laughs> uh, uh, dude, he was definitely bullied into this. Or is he gay and he bullied her into it? I mean, he's dancing pretty gay. He goes, I got it. Step, step, step. Listen, I want the sweating as bad as you do. Oh, he's wearing bell bottoms? 
in. He's, a he's way dancer. in. He's a professional dancer with that confidence. Professional? Is he, is he yeah. trying to fuck other women at Come his on. wedding? Come spin. On. You don't spin. Have to be for this. Spin. I mean, he really is like. No, uh, he's not yeah. selling it hard. You're no. Right. You're right. He's not a performer. No, that movie really got to get low. Oh, it's another country, too. Please, please stop dancing. Our high commander is here. He's gay. Homosexual. Wait, are you guys seriously telling me you don't want to, like, learn this whole dance? Yeah, just this, one day? This, uh, learn it. I feel like I already know it. If these two men touch each other one more time, we machine gun down everybody. Whoa! Oh, First of all, she's shaking like she's gonna piss in his mouth. <laughs> and, and they got, there's two, two, four points of harness. I don't, I'm not impressed by Dude, that. She, she fucking piss starts running under her yeah. pussy the front way. Yeah. Uh, you seen the video, have you seen a video online yet of the girl getting the dog pissing in her mouth? <laughs> While she's saying how cute the dog is over and over again, it just takes a hot squirt in her mouth. No, but I love And then it. just the video just ends because she just goes like, <laughs> she gets like so sad. <laughs> Oh, uh, what, Christine? What? Oh, do we have to take another break? Oh, we got. By the way, we should we should also address. Well. Last uh, week, we Lou had some drops from Jacob, but uh, they were pretty harsh and out of context because yeah, they're from an episode. Fucking oh, oh, Jacob. they were out, they were just out of context. Yeah, Jacob, they're just out of context. Here's the thing coming soon. It, on a pre-record we did is the episode where you hear the story you that hear he's the story of why that, he used those words. But, but Jacob it, thinks that people think he really said it, or they think he would say it, and he, but he has would, ceased and desist. But that's not. We all know that. So we had Christine reach out to Jacob on the phone. He's calling in to defend himself. Jacob, are you there? Jacob. Yeah. Jacob. Let me just. Yeah. Uh, no, Jacob. <laughs> God damn it. I you couldn't know? have felt like a bigger douche. Oh, so you heard what we're saying? You don't have to feel like that. We're in here. We're queer. Get used to it. You're a fucking faggot. Oh, Jacob, where are you? <laughs> oh, many no. fucking faggots in this city. Jacob, no. Oh, oh. Well, I think our, our phone broke up Jacob, with him. Well, lost him. Oh, we lost him. Okay, well, well. He's on the beach, and you know, it's... Miami Beach. There's going to be... Yeah, I guess he just didn't like be all it. all kinds there. Yeah, but, you know, that's a tough thing to listen to. So we were trying to have him explain it out of context, but... Yeah, but anyway, coming soon, you'll hear the uh, the story. And the reason we even played that was because we were going to not ever play it again, but then Jacob oh, gave us cease and assist. Trying to tell me what to do. There's so many reasons why we, had we now have to play it today. Yeah. I mean, well, that's coming up. For the record, Jacob loves homosexuals. He does. All of them. <laughs> to the point that we all think he's gay. So, I mean, how could he even say that? He loves Hamilton. I mean, well, now you're just being mean. Well, that, that, now that's an attack. Right. We'll be right back. That. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Wedding songs all day on the, on the bonfire. I'll keep going. You think we'll do the boom booms? Fucking faggots and Whoa, booms. Jacob, it's a song! All right, Lou, we, we've made an agreement not to play that drop until we play the story. All right. We're going to do, you know, we got that one off. At boom. Boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Am I crazy that everybody no. home doesn't want to hear this? Oh, no. I'm... That right there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the bonfire. That's it. There's no more show. The show is done. There's nowhere for this place to go. It's Big Jay Okerson. I'm Dan Soder. Sitting in with us, Dante Nero. What's up? What's yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're doing wedding songs, but uh I think Jay just did the wedding song. Jay's a serious karaoke dude, though. He's yeah. serious karaoke. I, I like to act really I'm not serious, but yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> you get real into I it. I dated a girl who did a karaoke league. What? Really? Yeah, she competed. Huh? Yeah, I dumped her. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can see dumping a girl in that because that is like that's yeah, post that much. That's, it's a, just, that's a pre cum you think it's cool, oh, and yeah. then you come and you're oh. like, what a goofball. Yeah. When, it, when is that? I'd love to come to one. She goes, <laughs> well, it's pretty competitive. There's eight, <laughs> there's eight teams, only four go to the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, that's you know why? She used that's, to make uh, like. Uh, 
props and stuff. Boo. Oh, really? Oh, she's doing arts and crafts yeah, while you just... Glitter and oh. glue. She uh, goes, I, I, I love to craft after yeah. I get fucked. What's up? <laughs> I like craft. I like fucking craft. She goes, I, honestly, for me, if I could take a ride on a deep dicking and then go to Michael's. <laughs> That's where I come in. Yeah. Then hit a Blick to, Art Supply. If I go to Hobby Lobby after I just get shelled out, I'm like, <laughs> but, maybe uh, I just bought you a glue stick. She's like, let me blow you. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you, that's How like you really... you I needed it? Karaoke League is like... That's failed, gonna be crusty. That's failed yeah. singer territory. It's not. Yeah. It's not even failed singer territory. It was never. It was never even good enough to become a failed singer. I think you'll agree with me. If you never get above karaoke level with it, like if you have a a good enough voice to be in a band on any level, yeah, you'll be in a band or here's, singing here's something in some in some level. She did have a voice good enough to be in a band. Why she just didn't want to? She just was scared, like you know, just she was scared to take that leap. She absolutely had a really good voice. Yeah, yeah, just wouldn't, you know. Did you support any of her live yeah, karaoke? Yeah, uh, well, no, I, no, I didn't support. This, but I was like, did uh, you get her jersey for her karaoke? <laughs> nah, I used to do. You got my girl's number three. She make, uh, bring down the house <laughs> with this uh, boys to men. She played for uh, Saint. <laughs> no, no, she drafted Saint straight John. out, straight out, right out of college. <laughs> Sang around karaoke team draft pick. <laughs> And the Utah Harmonies get up their <laughs> second Utah round pick. Utah Harmonies. They're giving it up to the Seattle Acapellas. Welcome back to the <laughs> Rockapellas. With the Rockapellas. <laughs> Welcome to the third annual Karaoke Draft 2018. A lot of these kids have talent. They were in choir. They're nerds. They fuck like rabbits in the choir hall. Expected to go one through ten is to hear. Here at Takanawa, it's always Asian guys who just nail it. He goes, he is a drunk Japanese businessman. He's aggressive. <laughs> and they said he's some of the best karaoke in the business. Owns a sake bar yeah. in Saigon. His, his competition is an overly confident Ashley Kronk. She's 29 years old. She hates her office job. She's had three shots of tequila and her boyfriend Brett won't text her back. <laughs> uh, see what She's ready going. to do some love as uh, a battlefield. Uh, I don't know. I, I'll tell you this. Uh, speaking of battlefields, that's what this is going to be. <laughs> that's what it's a drunk girl waiting for a callback. That's what you're drafting. Is, she is irate, and she does not puke till tomorrow. I'll tell you this. The upside is how much pure fury she has in her. The downside is the booze will wear off. So it's a real choice here. Uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. Where it's it, a real fighter fuck here at the old draft. <laughs> um, that would annoy the shit out of me. Like yeah. any any time a, a girlfriend does like goofy shit like that, yeah, we yeah. have to we have to feign support. Yeah. Well, I I actually I dated a chick who was in uh, uh, what's the fucking rock opera? Uh, Rocky Horror. Passing Strange. Oh, okay. Passing Strange, and she did women in a in a in a. Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, which was actually Broadway. So I was like, hey, look, could you talk to my... It was an ex-girlfriend. I was like, can you talk to her? You know, help her get in there because she wanted to do Broadway. Uh -huh. And she, like, never called her and never... But she just wanted to do karaoke. Dude, I had a buddy. I saw a story, I think, on here before. But my friend uh, Dave, when I was growing up, was a really good rapper. Yeah. And when I was coming up here with Kevin Hart mm -hmm. to New York right away, he started doing a movie... With Rockefeller, and I was going with him every right. day up to Rockefeller Studios, which is right here, right, right, right pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and we'd go up there every day, and I ended up bullshitting up with like Damon Dash, uh -huh. yeah, and told him all about my buddy, and he goes, yeah, and we just became like chummy enough, yeah, yeah, yeah that you could he would take you out. He literally goes, he goes, he goes, bring him up, bring him in with you tomorrow. Because we were coming in, I was doing table. I was in the movie. I did table reads with him every right, day because right. I was driving up with Kev. Right, from, right. The, to, from that was our trip from New York to, or from New York every day. And uh, I, I go, dude. I went back and told him that the next day we were, or, or a couple days later, we were going to go up there. We remember playing basketball and trying to convince. Uh, I was like, hey, great news. And he was like, oh, I got to work. <laughs> so you're like, no, no, no I, I'm I, telling I, you. I go, no, no, dude, like, I'm like, split. No, this, like, don't is worry about that. this is pre Rockefeller breaking up. This is like Jay Z and Dame Dash together. The prime of it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, like, because like post, I see post break up with Jay Z. Go, oh, yeah, man, I'm not going. Yeah, I'm not going with Dave. <laughs> the prime, you know what? 
My, uh, Cameron and them was still. Yeah, you go. Oh, my girl's fucking funk flex. <laughs> so I might be able to go up there and do something for you. He was. They were. They were huge. Yeah. yeah. Still, absolutely. And uh, yeah, he just didn't come up with me. He made. In fact, the guy well, it was another buddy of ours is who he worked for delivering lunch meat for like Boar's oh, Head, and he goes, oh. and he was like, uh, that yell- guy goes, he goes, yeah, well, I'm. I mean. You work for me. He's like, don't do that. Go up to the thing. He's like, no, nah, you know, I said I'd work. So I, 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 I think it was like, I think it was fear. That guy actually went on to have like a decent like uh, career. I mean, I think he could have been yeah. like a bazillionaire, but he had a, he has a good music career. He still yeah. performed, but he, he's in like the drum and bass house music, like emceeing oh, okay. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's more like a club yeah, yeah. Uh, thing. Yeah. He but he's will, awesome. But 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 he would have had that. Um, had that. Well, he definitely know. will throw it in his son's face in twenty five years. He's oh yeah, go, yeah, yeah. You don't like this boar's head. <laughs> This is what I chose <laughs> over my career. Your damn ass, I had to feed you. Like, Dad, can we get some, maybe, I don't know, Land or Lakes? Something goes, goes, what the fuck oh, that ain't good enough for you, boss. For humans, you stopped eating, you stopped eating Capricorn. Actually, Capricorn. that's what it was. It wasn't Boar's Head, it was Thumans. It was that, uh, it was Boar's Head's direct competition. Well, both man, black he, and red. Well, I can understand him going to work for Thumans. Come on. Yeah. 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 I would have been under. Yeah. <laughs> Dame Dash, you see him the next day he goes, where's your boy? He goes, he delivers for Thumans. He goes, I right, get that. I get it. You know what? My apologies. Tell him to come in on his next convenience. Yeah. Oh, man. What's he drop off? Cheese or beef? Oh, Both. Yes. Oh, that man's an important man. Yeah, let me know. Make a sandwich. And if he could bring some up for me and Hove. <laughs> so you what? Tell me bring him up two pounds of pepper salami. You got a deal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, if you can I'll put him on. I'll put him on the blueprint. <laughs> I'm just playing. All right. Uh, I'm just kidding. But I'm serious. Though, if he can come in, I'll try. I'll, 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 I'll get him a guest verse on Memphis Bleeko. <laughs> <laughs> no one listening to that shit. Uh, <laughs> but there is a fear of that like kind of thing happening. And maybe that's what, you know, your friends yeah. should never call the thing. I never understood why he didn't, like, uh, get, dude, when, I mean, when I had to uh, stop, man, poor, uh, my, 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 I had a friend one time that was giving advice to, like, just start writing letters to like Seinfeld and shit. Like, just who gave a, you that advice? It wasn't me. It was a, somebody gave oh, a friend of mine advice who was not in comedy. Just write a letter. To was like, Seinfeld. yeah, just write a letter to Seinfeld. And he goes, I'll get it. To him. It was like a guy like, I know him. Like, yeah, I'll get, I'll get a letter to him. And I was like, yeah, dude, we don't do that. <laughs> He's like, dear, you get one back. Dear, dear Jay, why did you write me? <laughs> it was what was that. I gonna do? It was who? It was through the transcendental meditation thing. So because they're in that world, the oh. guy was like, oh, I could get it through. It's like, no, nobody wants that. Yeah. <laughs> I was meditating I was like, Please on don't how have I shouldn't your... just shit on you. Yeah, I, was like, I was like, please don't have your meditation guy reach out to Jerry Seinfeld. And, say, and he goes, hey, uh, Jerry, he goes, I know we're talking. He goes, I know I'm your meditation guy, so you probably would love to hear my opinion on, on some, uh, some on new comedy. comics. <laughs> So here, watch this guy. I'm sure Seinfeld would love that. Yeah, Seinfeld would be like, "Hi, yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm yeah. quitting. Yeah, I'm quitting meditation." Yeah, me stopping my buddy from doing that. Yeah, from sending those letters probably saved the relationship between Seinfeld and the meditation guy. What were the letters? It was just like, "What hey, do you want to do?" I'm a comic. It was uh, who no, literally me? what he was what, 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 what he was telling him to do, like to say, "Hey, say, write a comic." Yeah, and so yeah. I that goes, oh, "I didn't even know new people were doing this." <laughs> Meditation guy was. There's like, other people doing this. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm the only one doing this. <laughs> 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 um, oh, dude, I've been so excited to talk about this since uh, Jay told me what you guys were talking about last night, Dante. Oh, we oh yeah, uh, that's crazy. And I'm an altar boy, so I got I mean, to inside. Should we, should we take a break and then get into it? Because this is going to be easily a 35 minute. Thing. <laughs> All right, we'll take our last. I'm trying. Yeah, we're going to take our last break because I'm trying to be responsible right now. Because I don't want to do responsible, this. Responsible, Dan. It's going to run up to like 55. And we're going to be like, hey. You're being responsible. Noises. <laughs> You're being responsible, Dan. Yeah, we're going to go right to the right yeah. thing. And go. I guess take commercial and just leave. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to take our last commercial break. We'll be right back with Dante Nero. It's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Faithfully. I, turns out I love wedding music, apparently. Yeah, you like yacht, yacht rock and wedding music. <laughs> yeah, let's get married, uh, Christine. I just want oh, to make a track list. Christine, it's happening. You're going to get your day. Oh, yes. Finally. Christine's going to have to, uh, I mean, Carla's going to have to give you away and give you her <laughs> Carla's going to have to give you away. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait at the altar. She can walk you down. She goes, I'm finally out. 
Here, take like, him. <laughs> fly, bird. Fly. Get out of here. I said go, Jay. <laughs> Get out of here, you stupid bird. I hate you. I hate you. On the show, hanging out, Dante Nero. What's Dante up? Nero. You can check out, yeah. You can check out the Beige Phillip podcast on iTunes. And I'm right, and get your balls back. Or get your balls back. You know, <laughs> get your nuts back. You can go wrong page, Christine. Wrong page, Christine. We're talking about Dante. We're not talking about wow, Dante. Nice. It's okay. <laughs> hey guys, guys, make sure you I check out Christine. Dante Nero's podcast, the base. For- oh, I nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> I nailed it without looking. <laughs> you hey. killed it. It's been tweeted with a link on where to find it. Oh, nope. I love when uh, like. The, group, the best part about this radio show is just there'll be subjects. Uh, and we'll, we'll be talking about it with someone else at a comedy club. And be like, yeah. hey, just come on our radio show tomorrow. Let's talk, talk about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what Jay This is did. a heavy production. I was watching wrestling last night, and Jay just texted me. He's like, dude, Dante's got to come on. We're, we're having a conversation right now. I was like, absolutely. <laughs> we're <having a> <laughs> We were just late. I just, it makes I, booking I, easy. Yeah, yeah. It's just heavy, first, so, so, heavy production on this show. Yeah, it is little to none. <laughs> first of all, I'll, I'll, pre- I'll start this only by saying, and then I'll let Dante take it. Yeah. But he came over. The words were, "Did you hear the thing about the Vatican and the gay sex orgies?" And I went, "What?" what? No, he goes, "He goes. It didn't really make a lot of big news, but <laughs> no, so, how did it not? Where did you? It was." Well, so I'm always I'm I'm agnostic, yeah. right? And I'm a, I grew up like Catholic. Catholic. Which ones that mean? That means don't believe anything or you believe in you something. Don't, I can't it prove is. it. I don't believe it, but don't you tweet can't that prove yet, it. You know what I mean? Huh? Don't tweet it yet. You can't. I, like I can't. I wouldn't say. I can't say there is no God. Yeah. But I. That's like, how I am. Prove it. I, yeah. I'm, yeah. More, I'm more like I believe in God, but I don't believe in religion because it seems. Yeah. To me well, like that's not really agnostic. Is like I, I don't, don't know. I don't believe it, but but. You know, show me proof and I'll believe it. I think yes, that's more. That's where I am. Agnostic is you believe in something. No, but you don't no, know what it is. No, yeah, no, not, atheism, agnostic is like you believe you don't know. Atheism is you don't believe in God, which right. I actually think is almost as fucked up as organized religion because <laughs> it's still a definite answer. Yeah. I like agnostic. I would, that's how I would describe myself. You can't, can we all, can't prove that can there is. Be, nobody can prove that there no. is no God. Can we all be in the church of I don't know? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. agnostic. That's agnostic. Wow, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome in, brother. Yeah, thank you, brother. It's pretty good. Agnostic, the definition, the definition of agnostic is... I like the spelling, though, but agnostic. Agnostic. A person who believes that nothing is known <laughs> or can be known of the existence or nature of God or of anything beyond material phenomena. A person Catholic. who claims neither faith nor disbelief in God. Synonyms, skeptic, doubter, guy you don't want to talk to at party. <laughs> a, da- a doubting Thomas. Yeah, a doubting I like Thomas. That. Agnostic. 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 Agnostic if you're nasty. Atheist. <laughs> Atheist is a person who disbelieves or lacks belief in the existence of God or gods. He is a, commist- he is a committed atheist is the sentence. Trans- okay. Yeah. There you go. Synonyms, uh, non-believers. Why is it often assumed that a man of science is probably an atheist? Another example of a sentence. Um... So you're agnostic, but, but I I grew up Catholic with okay. the Catholic elementary, so it's Catholic imprinted. high school, yeah. And I was an altar boy, the whole thing, and uh, no one ever touched your butthole. Not you know there was a there was a priest who was definitely touching dudes, but really, yeah. did you and did you, the other altar boys like tip you off to him? Like, we, hey man, you knew you know, but the guy you know the guy who always got touched was the guy who always got the lead in the play. Oh, <laughs> so he wasn't against it. He, he was like, like, guys, gonna, like he would go, he was. A wrestling coach too. He goes, "Who wants to put the mats away?" And we would be like, "Yo, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pick up my sister." And he comes back and he goes, "I'm he playing. Like, I'll help you, sir." <laughs> he goes, "I'm playing baby Jesus in the play, but only because they have to wear a diaper because of the anal damage." <laughs> I'll tell you what, Father John really blew my back out yeah. last night. Hey, by the way, when he says, "Look behind the couch," don't. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go for martini. I'm seven. <laughs> Uh, Seven. Uh, so dry, please. Yeah, dry. Neat. A, uh, when Three I say olives. A twist of Don Julio lemon. Blanco. Neat. God, I need something to take the pain away. <laughs> the dirty martini. Uh, Three olives. Yeah, we're making uh, victims of molestation socialites, gay yes. socialites. But that's just the thing we do. But just the ones that love it. Yeah. So I feel you, bad for the ones that hate it, but so the ones people, that love it, just staring like this. You know, the, uh, I don't know, Father of. Well, let me, let me, I have been. I, I wrote this joke about a uh, um about Mil Mil Maxima Culpa, which was a a car. Uh, it was a cardinal who created a boarding school, 
of deaf kids, oh, 250 geez. deaf kids, and the kids, Christ. and the kids couldn't speak. They could they could only speak sign language, so they couldn't tell their uh, uh, oh, yeah. they couldn't tell their parents because their parents didn't speak sign language, so they couldn't communicate. So what he, shitty parents are like? I'm not picking up sign language. <laughs> why do you think I'm putting so, you? In, you know, why do you think I'm putting you in the school? So I've been doing that joke. I've been trying to teach you how to mumble, silly. <laughs> I, Dad, I have to tell you this. <laughs> Every time you walk away, he sucks my dick. <laughs> what? Kid, yeah. what? Uh, what? Dad, I love uh, you, but I, I don't know what this is all. It's all a bunch of zips and bings to me. Don't worry. I'm not being fucked. I'm telling you to make it. <laughs> They're making me suck the dick. I'm getting mad at that stuff. Who? No, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm playing Hamlet in the yeah. school play. You should come see the school play. Unrelated. Yeah. I got that because of my talent. Yeah. So, so I did this joke, and I've been, and I, I got, in, you know, some lady wrote a letter to the stand to say that I should never work the club again okay. because of the joke. Yeah. And, uh, well, uh, wait till she hears my impression. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you know how worse this could go? Oh, oh, by the way, I'm just spitting down in the creek. <laughs> like, I'm spitting down the cliff. I can jump down it if you want. <laughs> and so every time there's some some uh, pedophiles, somebody comes and tell they like they I'm the, like guy. You're the guy. Yeah, when you yeah. do a joke about something, yeah, people they, feel like yeah. they want to like. So I'm like, oh, you didn't hear what happened to gay sex in the car, the cardinal with the gay sex. So I, he brought the article to me, and I read the article said that. So what happened was it was a, they have a like a like a uh, I guess a condo like a comedy condo, but for the Priest? Vatican. Oh <laughs> wow, the Vatican's green room. Yeah, right. you know, here's the so, deal: before you do your sermon, there's bottles of water. <laughs> This is the altar boy. Uh, this is Julio. He will be taking care of you. You can put your stuff. These in are the blood gauze. Oh, yeah. Do you have any? Do you have any merch you like to sell at the end of yours? Uh, and here's some freezer pops if you want to pack one in there. You know, afterwards, cool down. So the news story that we have from the New York Daily News yes. says that Vatican police raided a drug fueled gay sex party at a top priest's apartment near the city, according to an Italian newspaper report. I like top priests. That's top great. Priests. Well, honey, he wasn't top all the time. <laughs> yeah. He's more of a middle and a bottom if you've been at the party. Strong bottom. He's willing to be every part of the sandwich. Yeah. Hmm. Well, honey, let's just say top priests are only top priests when they're wearing their robes. Uh, thank you. Anyways, what's going on in the news? The apartment's occupant, who is not named by police, serves as a secretary to Cardinal Francesco Coccolo. Francesco Cocopamero. A personal advisor to Pope Francis. The apartment belongs to the Vatican's Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith. The branch that reviews this apartment's got a great view of <laughs> Vatican City. It's also good for narcotic fueled <laughs> gay sex parties. <laughs> also, just you guys want to ram out one of these little A boys before yeah. we go back to the old. What do you guys want? Do you want veal or beef? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, you guys want the blood, the body, or butthole of Christ? Yeah. We get all the parts. The apartment belongs to the Vatican's Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith, which is the branch that reviews appeals from the clergy found guilty of sexual abuse of minors. That's them. They were the people. Yeah. That, by the <laughs> way, those, <laughs> yeah, it's all a big In circle. Shit all flushes. And they, so, oh, go ahead. We're going to. Oh, well, the branch reviews appeals from the clergy found guilty of sexual abuse of minors. And police raided the apartment in June after neighbors complained of unusual behavior among frequent <laughs> nighttime visitors. Most sure of a glow stick they go, and shit. Go, why, they go, why the people, when they walk in the apartment, okay, when they walk out, I like a cowboy. <laughs> uh, they walk out like a cowboy. It's uh, the people showing up at the door. They have the red ball in the mouth. Yeah, and the sound and the oil uh, go through the uh, floorboards. <laughs> On to my uh, and I have this, uh, carpet. Uh. I heard the, one boy the... going on a unicycle. Oh, no pants on. Yeah. Oh, they are not they even seen. On <laughs> the, they, the article I read was that they call the cops because of a noise complaint. Oh, that's so funny. He goes, I swear to God, I'm going to call the police. I hear it's... one more butt fucking. <laughs> it play, sounded uh... like two people slapping the two, <laughs> two fish together. <laughs> I like a <laughs> nose break. Do you have those, uh, the chance? 
Christine, play some really uh, audible, meaty gay sex, please. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were helping produce this show. <laughs> How did your instincts not say play some meaty gay sex? Yeah, that's I uh, love Christine uh, and I bake. Oh, Jacob, get, you can't. You hate it too much. I mean, it, why is it so real that there's so many people in re religion that are just... Not just gay, but in the it's gay boy. It's, 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 it's all pedophile shit. Always. Well, what it is is when you... It's like... You suppress it. Yes. It's the same way with Japanese culture where yeah. they don't show their dicks. Yeah. So then they show a bunch of fucking octopus porn where it's <laughs> just... Evil it's porn, just yeah. Tiny women being like... Oh, so not the fuck Fish. So fish is fucking her ears and her pussy. I said that. He's like, we have done the good of not showing up. <laughs> yeah. I push it deeper down. We have kept all your dick. Yeah, and then like, I, I have sex with the octopus. That's the same thing with the Vatican where they're like, no sex, don't even jerk off. And they go, hey, Padre, I just want to put this out there. Figure sitting on a powder keg. <laughs> but, they, but they enter that, though. Like, you, it's not like you're drafted into it. No. You're drafted into it. So it's like you go into it to suppress. You're saying, yeah. yeah. So that's it. You're like, I'm a pedophile, so I'm going to go become religious because I shouldn't be a pedophile. And I then they're like, probably, and then they're like they wow, look how easy it is to be a pedophile when you're a priest. <laughs> you're surrounded by so many trusting children. I really <laughs> fell backwards into all this bullshit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I also think when you're uh, did when you you're, find some vicious? It's well, playing I mean, in the background. I don't hear it. I mean, do you want to watch it? Because no, I could put I, it No, out. I do not. I do it's now. Pretty, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Christine. I mean, I need some big. <laughs> This is the worst. It's never not funny. <laughs> it's the Mormon boy. <laughs> Black Blue's hiding from it. It's not going to infect you. Oh, I finished. <laughs> That's exactly how I thought it would look. <laughs> oh, is that Pete Davidson? <laughs> what hairy man? All right, that's good. Enough. That's good. We got the point. The, oh sound, the sounds weren't good enough, Christine, oh. if I can come Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, you're right there. Well, I really thought, I thought Jacob's yes. thing was the yes. gay porn. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. You got the job. <laughs> Look at this boy's face. He's like, this Seriously, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I feel like this is underage. No, it's all right. I just wonder. What's wrong? You can't appreciate what, 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 that the kid's got a nice piece on him? I don't know. It's just the way he's just casually like, so it's, all right. I don't want to watch dudes blowing each other. <laughs> this isn't a fucking... It's not a goddamn fucking... It's not like, oh, this is yeah, all right. I get it. I don't want to fucking watch dudes fuck. It's hilarious for like 15 seconds. And you're like, all right, now we have a choice. <laughs> no, I guess, you know what, Christine? Let it roll. Let it play. Let's just see. I hope they get in the fucking downward dog. In a boy's dream. I'll watch you have a devil's threesome with just three games. In a boy's dream. In a boy's dream. Oh, uh, you have your cardinal fuck party in the Vatican. <laughs> you suck him off while I kiss his belly and he ramps it in my butt, little ball cream. Oh, in the Vatican's dream. <laughs> in a pulp stream. <laughs> in a pulp stream. <laughs> in a cargo. It's yeah. very sensual. Get your bishop over here and put it in my rook, little ball cream. <sighs> I don't know why I don't, gay sex doesn't sound more like that. I'm just like, real like, yeah. Yeah. Like, Man, really, it's like, you know what? Probably someone, not the first time they're doing it. I know, but it just sounds, it, it still sounds sex. like the noise should be like when you try to like, uh, 
When you try to like relocate your own arm or something. Or like, oh, like you're trying oh, to move a couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, like, you got like, your end? I like got mine. Like short, right, shallow lift. jabs. With yeah, your legs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Wait, move on. Uh, uh, hey, Mark. Uh, <laughs> drop, drop, get the uh, image out of your head. Oh, thank you. Wow, that was a fat ass. <laughs> that was fat. It boy. was a tranny. Ah! Yeah. ah! You're so gay. Oh, you're man. so gay. You're <laughs> so gay. <laughs> Yeah, I was out Mary. Fucking oh, Mary Jean. Oh, <laughs> that's your girl. Hey. 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 <laughs> you ever find yourself single and ready to mingle, buddy? Mary Jean, do it for all of us. And a bar's dream. And a bar's dream. Uh, the, to call the cops on loud gay sex. Yeah. Is, first off, they had to have known that the apartment was rented by the Vatican. Sure. And they, how loud did they have? They were like, turn down for what? Yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah. A 50 year old priest breaking up, breaking up a gay orgy fueled by drugs and alcohol. Do you then want they, to fall? They tried, they had the, he had the detox <laughs> for three days. Before they, they interrogated him. He goes, listen, honey, was- I'm full of coke and cum. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to answer your questions, but, uh, Call the father, me a- the son, <laughs> and the <laughs> holy shit, I'm full of cum. <laughs> the father, the son, the holy shit, that's a lot of ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, I'll catch you mofos in 72 hours. Let me go sleep off this buzzer. I'll tell you what, if you can throw me in a padded room with some sort of toilet so I can poop out all this cum. I'm going to be in a dark room for the next three days. If you want to throw one of the boys that are already ruined, I'll take it. Yeah, tell them the shark's tank is still open. Lion's Den just had a break in the system. Yeah, let them know that the gates are open and the velociraptor is are out of their cave. <laughs> anyway, I showed him God. Little <laughs> police, police arrested the priest and hospitalized him to detox him from the drugs he had ingested, according to the newspaper. He was taken for questioning, uh, presumably on drug charges, as gay sex is legal in Vatican City. Yeah, you know it is. Oh! Oh, by the way, what a great name for a gay club, Vatican, Vatican City. City. <laughs> oh, and so, hey guys, let's open it. Vatican the whole limelight. Oh. Make it like Vatican. Yeah, Vatican. Like really double A. Yeah, and then like devil horns <laughs> with like a, a halo around it. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Vatican City. I'm a I'm a Vatican. I'm gonna bounce there in a nun outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, sorry, you're not on the list. Like, <laughs> honey, I can get in. If this is heaven, I'm supposed to be in there. Uh, hello. Yeah, that's great. Welcome to Vatican City. I'm going to use your ID. <laughs> no, my buddy DJ is here. He says it's legit. <laughs> this is a bunch of priests. Is sex legal? <laughs> we made it possible to get butt fucked. <laughs> that's what he's going to say. He goes, drugs? Oh, my God. Those little gay boys must have raped me. Oh, it's I was their priest. How dare they? Oh, once you listen to these songs, it makes way more sense. Yeah. It's not gay if, unless you kiss. <laughs> Use a lot of spit. Don't make, don't make eye contact. And it's not gay. Dude, what a fucking... Once it's halfway in, I'll... if you cough, it's easier. Who sells these guys drugs? Everybody. You gotta know you're gonna be like... <laughs> not see, how do yeah. you not sell, sell drugs to a priest? You go, hey, Padre, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got one of your well, four. four. I got thirties, got forties. Hey, yeah. how you doing, Pope Frank? Uh, what do you guys got going on? Pope what are you? What do you, what do you, you guys? You guys doing one of your dick dog piles? <laughs> That's great. Listen, I got uh, this thing right here will make you feel nothing. This thing right here will make you feel everything. So you got a real choice here. How you guys want, Padre? Hey, how you guys want to? Do? Listen, me myself got a little bit of the drips, but this is Colombian. Father, no disrespect. No disrespect. I'm not gonna tell you how to work your business, but if I were you, I'd go for the feel every day. Not for nothing. I, lo- I know you fucking Fruit Loops like those poppers. <laughs> so uh, there's a bag of them on the house. Who are you getting, little Jimmy? Yeah, uh, I can tell by that kid's haircut he was going to be swallowing you so about a weekend, hey, if I'm being honest. Also, and I, I saw him, and I saw him at CCD, and, and I said to myself. Just because I'm uh, just because i a God-fearing man myself, I threw in some Happy Meals for the kids you're going to fuck. Okay, anyways. 
<laughs> I'm not a monster, although I have made some monstrous decisions in my life. Bad decisions well, do no. not mean I'm a bad person. Anyways, I learned that from one of your priests. Oh, that guy with the dick in his mouth. Anyway, <laughs> that guy over there in the corner sucking off what seems to be some sort of, I don't know. That guy over there taking that crying boy's dick in the job. Yeah, I'm looking at him sucking on the uncut one. That guy's definitely Catholic. <laughs> Oh, Welcome to Vatican City. You guys, watchers or participators. <laughs> Hi, everybody. The rule is we're all creatures. And God died. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking crazy when these stories, because they don't get broke no. because of people's faith. Yeah. Because Nobody wants to there's powerful it. Catholic people in the media that are like, I'm not going to report this. Yeah. And I mean, it was on, the, you know, obviously the Daily News and other places. It wasn't on page one. No. It was like way, you know. Because this is, bad. I mean, enough people like Pope Francis. Francis is cool enough that yeah. everyone's trying to let... Now that we're letting the well, party see, it was slide. his boy, right? He said yeah. the priest is considered ardent supporter of Pope Francis, according to his LinkedIn account. Well, that's his LinkedIn ex- account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're also checking his scruff profile, says yeah. he's cool. He's an expert friend. in canon law and dogmatic theology. He goes, that's not the only thing. He goes, boy dicks. <laughs> Find me on Grinder. I love Pope Francis. <laughs> <laughs> I, love. I love Pope Francis' conversation about dogmatic theology and just ripping through a box the poppers. <laughs> yeah. Expert. Like walks on the beach uh, boys. <laughs> what do I love doing? I love, cha- I love, I well, some consider me an ca- expert in canon law. I like uh, breaking down Bible passages and being filled in every hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just getting inside spackles all over. But what's the problem? The problem is, is that they're anti-gay. If they, do you think right. like if they embrace, they were like, hey, we no, got the, gay. The problem is that it's kids. Well, I don't think no, this they're party, not anti-gay now. This no. part, this party wasn't kids. This party was. Oh, uh, it was. Yeah, it was kids too. Disc- wait, what? Yeah, it yeah. was kids too. Wait, where is this? Kids, kids. Were underage people. There are underage people. Some were underage. Yeah. Hold what's on. The, the problem, is, you know that uh, what's his name? Uh, what's the the, the priest, the the pope that just resigned, uh, Benedictine? Yeah. He was in charge of all the complaints. Be- so that's why before he- before he became pope, and then when that the Mill Mac- Maxima Culpa thing came out, yeah, he was implicated in that, and so he was like, "Yeah, I, I, I sure I spent the whole my whole life trying to become the pope. You know what? I'm gonna just resign and just yeah. go." Did to- you, oh, did you guys think I wanted to be pope forever? <laughs> no, no, just a couple of weeks. Oh, God, I, I gotta go read. I want to go read. But guys, my eyes were bigger than my belly on this decision. <laughs> Can I tell you something? <laughs> this is work. He's, he's looking out over Easter Sunday. He goes, God. <laughs> you, ever, you ever been at work and been like, I don't know. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got the Pope job like uh, Christine Applegate and Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter. Yeah. Like she got her job. She goes, do you guys just show up one day and be like, I think I'm the boss here. And they're like, you're the boss. Do you guys know Va- Vatican has petty cash? <laughs> you spend it on whatever you want. Yeah, I'm spending the our dishes clean. are done, man. <laughs> yeah, that, um, I mean, I, think- I don't know if it is kids here. Actually. I think it's just yeah. I think it's all it's a gross. mix. It's a it's sordid. New sex I didn't scandal. see anything about kids or underage stuff. Uh, Are you going back to that kid that we just saw getting plowed in the video that, before? Because he looked a little <laughs> underage. Yeah, but he's probably like twenty six and works at, as a barista oh. somewhere. His dick was <laughs> fucking <laughs> forty. <laughs> Same thing. Uh-huh. Um, I mean that is crazy. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, the Pope lived in that apartment. Did you yeah. see? I had it. High, where is it? Right here. This is great. He um he was driving around in the holy with like the that's holy how he, <laughs> That's how he copped. Uh, he copped drugs. They like, would hey, stop Dad. him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dad, you all want a party? He goes, not with you. Yeah. Not with you. you Look disgusting at the woman. This is a you whore. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> might have walked with you, but I won't. Perhaps well, you I'll have walk with him. a younger brother. <laughs> She goes, okay, you want, you want some blow? Just keep going, take a left. <laughs> You'll see Hector down there. You know him. You be coming, you be coming by your apartment. Dante, what's prelate mean? I have no fucking idea. It says Pre- reserve, a privilege reserved for prelates. So I guess like he was driving around with privileges of like somebody higher in the church yeah. than him. So he could oh. transport drugs without getting stopped by the Italian Well, here's, here's something I just read that reports of a gay lobby, which is just an extravagantly decorated lobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Seriously, though. Be dazzled this lobby. Uh, um, but they said that there's been a rumor of a gay lobby for years in the Vatican. So this is probably just their like, this is their trust fall. Oh. 
thought that's what he gave away. I thought that's what he called his mouth. Yeah. In the gay lobby. He goes, put it in the gay lobby. He goes, put it in the gay lobby. I'll see the guy man upstairs, let you know if he's in. Also, I'll let you know if the back's open for receiving. Yeah, come on. We have a lot of gay fun here. Never have orgies. Super boring. Anywho, we have, what did you say, the Jews? I said the nuns. The nuns go. Yeah, but they just, they just abort the babies and bury them in the catacombs. They just believe, they just believe all this shit, the nuns. Sister Helen, would it be too much if I, I read what happened at the Vatican apartment? I wouldn't mind slamming some clams with you in the basement. Do you want to grab thighs and just smash into each other? How could you, Sister Jane? Just picturing the thing of like every priest I've ever seen, the idea that later he goes downstairs with like children or a bunch of dudes. It's just old. Just man, like in fucking dress socks up you know, to his <laughs> knees and shit, just sitting there. What, what like this guy just presided over church, and now he's like, he's like, he's like tugging his own dick. Look, he goes, he goes, take off your shirt now. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, oh, with, hey. a, with a stuffy nose. She's definitely not <laughs> that, that <laughs> French goes, press, That those, that nail job tells me she's probably not a real nun. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, when she's fingering her pussy. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit on this one. But Jay, yeah. what I was saying is, it is, it's uh, it's like a kind of naked. Like when you put up that gay porn, those are all gay guys that. In shape and like yeah. looking good, and you're talking about like an uh, old dude. You're talking about like locker room body where they're just like <laughs> no, 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 no. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's yeah, what yeah. makes it worse. Oh yeah, because they just have a gross locker room body where they're like with sock come garters. Over. <laughs> come over here and blow my <laughs> dick. Like dress super sock. white chest hair, but like yeah. his dick hair still dark for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> dress sock garters. Keep your dick Maybe it would maybe it'd be nice if you kissed it a little. <laughs> gross. It's so gross. Hey, hey Grandpa. Yeah, where is that? Hey, Timmy. You know. Timmy, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. upset. He goes, it's okay. We're both men here. You have to be called a man, don't that's, you? That's too honest. You're not doing the Italian version. Right? <laughs> yes. Maybe you'll come by my apartment. Yeah. Hey, you want to taste the matter of sausage, eh? Yeah. 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 Oh, you like a matter of sausage, eh? You like a capicola. Whoa. What am I told you? I got all the meats. Hey. Hey, it's like a combo. Hey. hey. You got a friend? You bring a bambino. <laughs> you bring a bambino. I mean, those guys are too clearly gay men from Los Angeles <laughs> wearing priest robes. It's not even, yeah, those are. You want also, to talk about God? You want to confess to my dick hole? <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> this is a sick ass townhouse in Redondo Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got to tell you something, Timmy. Uh, Your parents got a pretty damn pal. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, thanks, Father Malcolm. <laughs> All right, it's so awesome. Up. Whatever's under that robe, I am gonna suck. So my folks don't come over for like a half hour if you want me to like polish your knob a little or something. <laughs> I think you're the chillest. You're the chillest surfer priest. Oh wait, play some of it. Where you want me to come? Don't, don't do the sex, but just pop. Uh... No, Christine, do the sex. And where they finish? You know, sitting is something that every man must bear the weight of. However, when you come here, you must descend to a higher authority. <laughs> Hold on, pause it. Authority. You've already blown it because it's clearly an apartment. And so you <laughs> stop making it like it's, like they, they try to act like it's a church. So when you come here to my luxurious condominium, just, you know, <laughs> my just place of worship house. with a... With the painting I have of a girl slightly lowering her sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> also, I have a shirtless picture of Fabio from the early 90s in my bathroom. It's kind of a joke picture at this also, point, but I think you get it. It's this place of worship where there's also happens to be a couple of scrolls with tigers and Japanese writing on it. Also, do you love my sun mural in the back? <laughs> I'm a big beach guy. <laughs> Wait, no, Christine, please oh, get to the God. end of the gay sex. I want to hear the ending of it. Is this the very ending? Yeah, just the very end. I want to hear the finish. Of it. Oh, come on. Shelter. They gave me... He's just Boom. spanking him in his balls or shit. And, oh, man. And, oh, man. It's a space. Breathe. And, oh, man. Breathe. Oh, uh, man. That would be my name. That would be my name. A lot of men. Do that. I will be done. I will be done. Pause it real quick. Is this so Lou, funny if you don't chop this up. I will be done. I will be done. My kingdom come. <laughs> <laughs> they will be done. Ooh. 
Oh, boy. Too many fucking oh, faggots in this city. Oh, you know what, Dan? No. That's it, then. No. Then we'll finish up. No. Dante Nero was hanging out with us today. Dante, of course, has the Beige Philip podcast. Yes, sir. Uh, fucking schooling bitches and motherfuckers. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, everybody. Gay dudes, too. Go Even get gays. all of it. Yeah. Trans. Relations. The entire okay. kid. Uh, Black Lou just got married. What would your advice be to him? Shouldn't have? Shouldn't have. There we go. <laughs> oh. uh, make sure you check out the Beige Philip show, available on iTunes and uh uh, is it part of Ridecast? Am I crazy? Yeah, I am. Oh, very, very cool. See, so, yeah, part of Ridecast. It's a great network. So uh, check that out. Dan Soder, of course, I watched this weekend uh, you and Nate's oh, half hours on uh, yeah, yeah. Part, part of the stand ups, awesome. uh, which are available now on Netflix. Thank Dude, you. so good. I, I, I told you before, uh, I knew the jokes mm -hmm. uh, from us doing the Carolines together, yeah. so, but the set's killer and, and it. It's it's hilarious, but they also made you guys look fucking great. Yeah, man. they shot it really fucking well. Both of you guys. So yeah, I was uh, so impressed, man. Make sure you check out Dan and me both uh, as part of the half hour special. The stand ups available now on Netflix. Dan also going to be in Minneapolis. Catch him at the Acme Comedy Club Thursday, July thirteenth through Saturday, July fifteenth. After that, you're going to catch him at Washington D.C. at the Big no, Hunt. I'll be at D.C. Draft House. I'm not going to be at the Big Hunt. Sorry, Christine. Christine. Sorry. You do this. So much. It's on, it's on, you know, it's on DanceOtter.com. I, I love Christine. <laughs> uh, he's going to be in D.C. at the Draft House Thursday, July 20th through Saturday, July 22nd. You can get all your tickets for any of Dan's shows at DanSoder.com. And then make sure you check out Big J. Ogerson's going to be performing at the Just for Laughs Montreal Comedy Festival, July 19th through July 29th on the Nasty Show. That's going to be up there. It's going to be awesome. Great lineup. Uh, and also, he's going to be hosting five What's Your Fucking Deals. It's the all crowd work show. So go to BigJComedy.com and get tickets for the Just for Laughs uh, Comedy Festival. I'll be up there. There's a bunch of people going to be up there doing What's Your Fucking Deal and other shows. We're going to be doing a bond fire from there. A lot of stuff's going to be going on. Thanks to Dante for coming in. Thanks for having me, bro. And hanging in. We love you. Man love. Real man love. Vatican man love. <laughs> Follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We'll see you tomorrow. Here, talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow, motherfuckers.